scientists, is your teacher forcing you to watch this mini lesson? <laughs> Get it? Forcing? Well, let's take a moment to talk about force. Force is a push or a pull on an object, and there are a lot of different types of force. You can have force caused by contact, where one object is touching another object, or you can have force at a distance, where the objects don't have to actually be touching. Let's start with contact. Applied force is the type of force where one object pushes or pulls another object. This usually results in motion. This is the type of force you probably think of first. If you apply force by pushing a box, the box moves. If you apply force by pulling your phone out of your pocket, it moves. The amount of movement is directly related to the amount of force being applied. If you kick a football and it doesn't go where you wanted it to, you can try again and either kick harder and make the ball go further, or by kicking it softer with less force, making it go less distance. But there's also friction. Friction is a force that occurs when two objects rub against each other. The force of friction can easily be seen in the difference between scooting your feet across the floor with carpet versus scooting your feet across a floor made of tile or linoleum. Across the carpet, your feet have a much harder time moving and your legs have to work much harder to provide more force to move less. But on the tile, your feet move very easily and you can move further using less force. This is where friction comes in. The carpet fibers rub against your feet and create traction which slows down movement. The more friction, the harder it is to move. A ball rolling across glass experiences little friction, but the same ball traveling over grass experiences a lot more friction and slows down to a stop much faster. Liquids like water on a water slide and oil like motor oil in an engine can be used to reduce friction and increase mobility. Let's switch gears and look at forces that can work at a distance. We have magnetism and gravity. Gravity is the force of one object pulling on another. Everything has gravity and everything is affected by gravity. The amount of gravity an object can pull with is related to the object's mass. The larger an object, the larger the mass and the greater the gravitational pull. The moon, earth, and the sun all have gravity, but since the sun is the largest, it has the most or strongest gravity. The opposite is true for the moon. The last type of force we'll talk about today is magnetism. Magnetism is an object's ability to be attracted or repelled by a magnet, or an object's ability to attract iron. Magnetism is caused by electrons being charged and attracting the opposite side of an object. This makes a magnetic field. If another magnet or iron-containing metal enters this magnetic field, the object will either be attracted, or if it is negatively charged, the object will be repelled. If the object is not magnetic, then it won't be attracted or repelled to the magnetic field. Let's save all the other types of force for another day and look at a question together.